Hey Angie here from MyNextTablet.com. Today we're checking out the best tablets with an official keyboard that you can buy at the end of 2020. Let's get started. I've reviewed almost every tablet that has been released in the last couple of years and many of them can be bought with an official keyboard cover. I'm only putting tablets with an official keyboard in this list because every tablet can be used with a Bluetooth keyboard or with a USB keyboard. But to be really useful, to be a real laptop replacement for instance, it's better to have an official cover that does not need to be charged separately. If you're watching this video a little bit later, check out the link in the description. There you will always find an up-to-date list with my recommendations. The best tablet with an official keyboard cover is the Microsoft Surface Pro 7. You can get it with the Microsoft Type Cover, which is a fantastic keyboard that has proper keys that you can properly press down and has a pretty nice touchpad and it is a very premium feeling. And since the Surface Pro 7 is running Windows 10, it acts like a standard Windows PC. So if you want to have a full laptop replacement, the Surface Pro 7 is the best tablet that can do that right now. The Pro 7 has a fantastic premium feeling design with an integrated kickstand. We're getting a 12.3 inch pixel sense display that is very pretty and works with the Microsoft Surface Pen. That's an actual stylus that you have to buy separately. You can get versions with an Intel Core i3, i5 or i7 and 4, 8 or 16 gigabytes of RAM. And the internal storage is an SSD which can have a size of 128 gigabyte up to 1 terabyte. Sadly there's no LTE version at the moment. The second best tablet with an official keyboard cover is the Apple iPad Pro, the 2020 generation. You can get it with two different kinds of keyboards. There's a smart keyboard folio that's more of a nice slim travel keyboard but not that good for 8 hours of typing every day. And then you can get the Apple Magic Keyboard which is quite heavy but it's an excellent keyboard with a nice touchpad and it's a really nice but pricey accessory for the iPad Pro. I think the iPad Pro is the better choice compared to the Surface Pro 7 if you don't specifically need Windows 10. And you do get a great experience with iPadOS. It has been improved a lot in the recent years. You can even use a touchpad now. And together with Microsoft Word and Excel, these are the mobile versions, you can get lots of work done too. In fact, I wrote tons of articles with the iPad Pro. You can get the tablet in 12.9 inches and an Apple Magic keyboard with the same size which of course has more of a desktop size keyboard or you can get a smaller 11 inch iPad Pro. Both are excellent IPS screens which have a refresh rate of up to 120Hz and they work with the Apple Pencil 2 which is an active stylus that just like with Microsoft you have to buy separately. Inside the iPad Pro wants an Apple A12Z processor which is very fast together with 6GB of RAM and you can get an internal storage with 128GB up to 1TB and here you can get it with LTE if you want to. The best Android tablets with an official keyboard are the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 and Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. You can get both with official keyboard covers and the keyboard is fantastic. I replaced my iPad Pro with them for a while and I was able to get quite a lot of good work done with it. Here the official keyboard consists of two parts. I really like the design. There's a back cover that is separate and has an integrated kickstand. So you can use the kickstand without the keyboard. And the second part is the keyboard together with the touchpad that's built in too. The keyboard is really nice. You can press the keys down properly. And yeah, as I said, I was able to get quite a lot of work done with it. That's also because it's running Android 10 together with Samsung's One UI. And that means it also supports Samsung DeX, which is a pretty interesting desktop mode. You can use the mobile versions for Microsoft Word, Excel and so on, just like you can on the iPad. Now these are two tablets. The Galaxy Tab S7 Plus has a 12.4 inch Super AMOLED screen which I think is the best screen of any tablet right now. And the Galaxy Tab S7 has an 11 inch LCD. Both support 120Hz just like the iPad Pro and in this case the S Pen is included which is a great active stylus that's very similar to the Surface Pen or the Apple Pencil. Inside both tablets wants a Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 Plus processor and with that they are the fastest Android tablets you can buy right now. 
you get 6 or 8 gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabyte up to 512 gigabyte of internal storage. Optional 4G is available too and you can even get the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus with 5G. The fourth tablet on this list is the Apple iPad 4. I think the iPad 4 is a fantastic alternative to the 11 inch iPad Pro. Obviously, if you want a bigger tablet from Apple, then you have to get the 12.9 inch iPad Pro. But if you don't need a 120 hertz screen or a LiDAR sensor, I think the iPad Air 4 can be the better value compared to the iPad Pro 11 inch. The iPad Air 4 works with the same accessories like the Apple Smart Keyboard, which is a great travel keyboard, and the fantastic Apple Magic Keyboard. So the keyboards are exactly the same like on the 11-inch iPad Pro. So with iPadOS, you can again use the mobile versions for Microsoft Word, Excel. You can use Apple's own apps for that as well. Here we get a 10.9-inch IPS screen, which only has 60 Hz, but it also supports the Apple Pencil 2. Inside runs a super fast Apple A14 Bionic processor together with 4GB of RAM and the storage can be 64 or 256GB in size and here you can get sell your versions as well. A cheap alternative to the Microsoft Surface Pro 7 can be the Lenovo Yoga Duet 7i. It's a cheap alternative because the keyboard and the pen are usually included and the keyboard has a very interesting feature. It can be used while attached to the tablet just like you can on the Surface Pro 7 but it has Bluetooth and a battery built in so you can use it while it's detached as a Bluetooth keyboard which can be very interesting for instance if you're working on a train or on the plane you can have the tablet on the small table and the keyboard on your lap that's quite interesting. Now the Yoga Duet 7i behaves like any other Windows PC because it's running standard Windows 10 just like the Surface Pro 7. Here we're getting a 13 inch screen which is pretty nice and it comes with the Lenovo Active Stylus which is a decent pen too. You can get it with Intel Core i3, i5 or i7 processors but the performance is slower than the Surface Pro 7 that's important to know. You can get it with 4 to 16 gigabyte of RAM and 128 gigabyte up to 1 terabyte of storage. In this case, that's an SSD. The next tablet on this list is the Microsoft Surface Go 2. Now that's a 10 inch Windows tablet, so we're getting into the bit smaller tablets. And it's a very interesting alternative if you're looking for a Windows machine that's very small and portable. It has the same premium build like the Surface Pro 7 and a very similar excellent type cover, which is a bit smaller of course, but it's a fantastic keyboard. I enjoyed writing with it a lot and the touchpad is decent too. Now here again, you get a Windows PC experience because it is standard Windows, Actually, it's running Windows 10 in S mode, but with a couple of clicks, you can switch to standard Windows. Here we're getting a 10.5 inch IPS screen with a full HD resolution, which is pretty nice. And you can use it with the same Surface Pen that works with the Pro 7. Now with the performance, you have to be a bit careful because you can get an Intel Pentium Gold processor, which is not that fast. And then you can get it with an Intel Core M3, which is much better. You can choose between 4 and 8 gigabytes of RAM and a 64 gigabyte eMMC storage or a 128 gigabyte SSD with the SSD being the better option of course. This is a Microsoft tablet that you can get with integrated LTE. Now the cheapest tablet on this list is not last on this list. In fact, it's very high. It's the Lenovo Duet Chromebook. It's one of my favorite tablets of 2020 because it offers an amazing value. First of all, it runs Chrome OS and the keyboard is included. Just like with the Galaxy Tab S7 for instance, the keyboard consists of two parts. It, there's a back cover with an integrated kickstand and then a separate keyboard with a touchpad. Now the keyboard feels a little bit cheaper, it's all plastic of course, but it works very well and you can type on it quite comfortably. Now the advantages of Chrome OS are that we get desktop Chrome, so basically a full desktop browser including all the extensions. The another advantage is that Google is updating it. In fact, the Lenovo Duet Chromebook should get updates for eight years. So it will be up to date longer than any Android tablet will be. But you can also use Android apps since the Google Play Store is pre-installed. Now this is not a gaming tablet, but you can install the mobile versions from Microsoft Word and so on. But it makes more sense to just use Google Docs inside the Chrome browser, which works great. Here we're getting a 10.1 inch Full HD screen and you can use it with a USI stylus. Now in my test, I didn't like the stylus that much. I used an HP USI stylus, but maybe you can find better pens by now. 
Inside runs a MediaTek Helio P60T processor, which doesn't sound that amazing and it's not the most amazing shit ever, but the real life performance for office work and especially for web browsing is better than on those 10 inch Windows tablets. We get four gigabyte of RAM and you can choose between 64 and 128 gigabyte of internal storage. Now the Lenovo IdeaPad Duet 3i is an interesting alternative to the Microsoft Surface Go 2. It's an interesting choice if you need a cheap Windows tablet with a keyboard. Just like with its bigger brother, the Yoga Duet 7i, the keyboard can be used while attached to the tablet, but also while separate because Bluetooth and a battery are built in here. You get the same Windows experience like with all Windows tablets. Now like the Surface Go, it chips with Windows 10 and S mode, but you can switch to Windows 10 to standard Windows 10 very easily, so that's not a problem. Here we're getting a 10.3 inch Full HD screen, which is a pretty decent one. And with internal hardware, you've got to be careful. The cheapest one comes with an Intel Celeron N4020, which is a pretty slow processor. So that one can be used for very basic, really very basic work only. If you can afford it, I would go for the N5030, which is a Pentium processor. It's not amazing. It's not as fast as the Intel Core M3 of the Surface Go 2, but at least you will get a bit better office performance. You can get it with four to eight gigabytes of RAM and a 64 or 128 gigabyte internal storage. There's an LTE version planned as well. I'm sure you've seen that there are not that many Android tablets on this list because you just can't get that many Android tablets with official keyboard covers right now. But another one that's the eighth place on this list is the Samsung Galaxy Tab S5e, which is a fantastic media tablet that also can be gotten with an official keyboard cover. Now for my review, I did not have the official keyboard cover, so I don't have any video footage of it, but I did try it out and it's a pretty nice, decent cover. Not as good as for the Galaxy Tab S7, but a pretty decent one. There's no touchpad built in, the keys can't be pressed down as nicely, but it's, you know, it's a fine standard travel cover, similar to the ones that Apple sells these smart keyboard covers. Now, together with Samsung DeX and Android 10, you can get quite a good amount of work done. And Samsung DeX behaves similar like on the Galaxy Tab S7, so you can use the mobile versions from Microsoft Word and Excel, for instance. Here we're getting a very pretty 10.5 inch Super AMOLED screen and a Qualcomm Snapdragon 670 processor. Now with that processor, it is much slower than the Galaxy Tab S7, but it's also a much cheaper tablet, so that's fine. By the way, you can't use it with an S Pen. We get four gigabytes of RAM and you can get versions with 64 or 128 gigabytes of internal storage and LTE is an option too. Last on this list is the Apple iPad 8. I actually think that the official keyboard cover, which is the Apple Smart Keyboard Folio, is the worst keyboard on this list. But the tablet has such an amazing performance for its price that the Apple iPad 8 should belong on this list. Again, you can get it with a smart keyboard folio, which is an okay keyboard. It's more of a travel style keyboard. I wouldn't like to work on it for eight hours every day or so, but it's fine. And together with iPadOS, you can use Word, Excel, you can connect a standard mouse, and the performance is fast enough for Adobe Photoshop and for video editing. Actually, the render performance is amazing, at least for this very inexpensive price. We're getting a 10.2 inch IPS screen, which is not laminated, that's certainly a downside, but you can use it with a first generation Apple Pencil. Now inside runs an Apple A12 Bionic processor, which is very fast. It's faster than almost every Android tablet. You can get versions with 32 or 128 gigabyte, and you can get it with optional LTE too, of course. All right, these are the 10 best tablets with an official keyboard that you can buy right now at the end of 2020. Again, check out the link in the description. There you will see always my current recommendations, no matter when you're seeing this video. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. As I said at the beginning, I'm reviewing almost every tablet that gets released. I'm NJ from MyNextTablet.com. If you have any questions, feel free to write them down below. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Wow.